Hold on. Okay, guys. All right, back at it again. CNC electronic sales and repair, repairs and sales. Whichever way you guys want to put it. We do it all. Okay. So now, guys, I just got this one in. Well, well not just. I got it in a few days ago, like three days ago. No, I got this in on what? Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. I'm not wrong here. Yeah, Sunday. I got this sample for him. See, I already open it. And they break the seal, the void seal. Well, this is a whole amplifier anyway. Nobody, you know. I don't think this still has warranty on it or anything like that. But I got this one with two channels not working. And this is the CT sound. You see, it's a four channel. At 80, 12, 125.4. So I guess 125 a channel. Okay, 125 watt, I think, you know. CT sound. Okay, like this. And, uh, yeah, I did hook it up earlier to see if it pours on for real. And it did pour on. But after searching and searching, wondering what could cause the channel not to work and check around, I remember I was working on a odd, massive audio amplifier. Couple, I don't know, I didn't make a video of it, yeah, because I have a lot of amplifier to do. Sometimes I just run, you know, go and repair amplifier and give it back to the customers. And the customer, yeah. And give back to the customer and that's it but you know sometimes it's hard for me to make a video really really hard you know so now this one now as i was saying the massive audio i remember working on one and this glue here this black glue there that they put on it after a while it it corroded the part got corroded from it from I don't know if it's a chemical inside of it or whatever like you know or, you know but it corroded and it caused two 10 ohms resistor and I'm not sure if you guys can see but I already soldered them what well, this is one right here and this is one right here Beside this inductor coil, I found them. The leg corroded off, you know. It was so corroded when I scratch, I you know scratch it like this, the resistor go apart. So I was able to scratch it, scrape what I can get from it, and solder it back to the board. And yep, I didn't test this as it, but I. I'm pretty sure that's what the problem was. No doubt about it. I'm pretty sure that was the problem. So I check the voltage and the output. Everything is fine. This one uses the. Let me see. This uh, cap is. Um, wow. They put a glue over the cap. Man. All right. This is a 3000 microfarad. 50 volts this cap yep this filter cap alright and the power supply cap uh, 2225 volts at uh, 2200 2200 microfarad or UF whichever way you guys put it Okay, and the only thing left for me to do with this now is to hook it up and let you guys see. Fuses was okay, everything. As I said, two side channel plays fine and everything. Let me look if hmm. and these knobs are for. So guys, I'm gonna give it a quick test just to see if everything is okay. All 
right so here goes right. uh, well, let me try using this let me see if I did have a shot in this thing a couple days ago this I don't know why it was giving me so I'm reading not so good oh yeah I know this still giving me a reading like that wow can you imagine that This thing is not is messed up. One of this thing is really messed up. Ah oh, man. Alright guys. I can still test it with one. So I got to see if this channel down here is working fine. I'm gonna check all the channels anyway. Yeah, 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 you copyright, copyright, be careful. Let me be careful. Yeah. Didn't even remember I was gonna play a song. I already have a song in mind. I just remember not to mess with these people and their copyright business. Turn this background music down. Pause this on. CT sound, as you guys can see. Oh, yeah, pause up on everything. Alright. It has a green light right here. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, okay, I get that far now. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Let me put the speaker up here on this side. Okay, let me move this. Okay, that looks fine there. Yeah. This side, uh, this is the problem side. Nothing from that channel. Hold on. Set up the jack plug so I have to keep.
music on the chart. Okay guys, that's it for this one. It's okay, so right, everything's okay. And this one just that glue corroded the uh, ten ohm resistors right here beside the inductor. If you ever have one of these, please to check that here, right down here beside your output MOSFET right here that that yes and I think that it that is gonna be all for this repair guys when I get a little look got this yeah as in too far and fuse yeah CT sound it's a four channel and it reads CT sound 80 125.4D. Okay, guys, okay, um, that's it. What's oh, gonna be for this repair? Thank you guys for watching. Any question, please ask me. and I'll answer you guys as quick as possible as so, you know and let you guys know what's going on. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. CNC Electronics, oh thank you.